Ted Cruz responded to the Paris terror attacks in the worst possible way. He released a statement where he said this, quote, We must immediately recognize that our enemy is not violent extremism. It is the radical Islamism that has declared jihad against the West. It will not be appeased by outreach or declarations of tolerance. It will not be deterred by targeted airstrikes with zero tolerance for civilian casualties. All right, so the first part of that, not bad. He didn't, he didn't, you know, ste steer it off into a ditch yet. But then at the end of it, oh no, that was the exact wrong response, Ted. Look at what he said, I'll repeat it. It will not be deterred by targeted airstrikes with zero tolerance for civilian casualties. So, in other words, after the disastrous terror attack in France, well, we can accept more civilian casualties, can't we? We cannot give a fuck as much about civilian casualties on the ground, right? I mean, it, we're talking about, like, Iraq here. We're talking about Syria. We're talking about, like, Yemen and whatnot. Pfft, who gives a fuck? Am I right? Am I right? No, 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 you're wrong. You're wrong. Because... That will further exacerbate the problem. Now, you're right that part of the problem, if not a bulk of the problem, is the ideology itself, the fundamentalist Islamic ideology itself. But you know what would exacerbate that and make it worse and, and have the opposite of the intended effect? If you start wantonly bombing civilians or you don't care about civilian casualties. Because then when you end up killing somebody's mom or sister or grandma, Apart from being immoral, you have people who go, well, I wasn't against the Americans, but then they're the ones that did the airstrike that killed my family members or my friends, so now give me an AK-47. Now I want revenge. Now I'm going to go back against them. Now, again, as I said, some of the violence is purely religious and ideological. There's no doubt about that. I'm, I'm the first person to call that out. But if you kill somebody's family, there's a good chance they're going to want revenge and retribution, and they will do it uh, along with or under the guise of the fundamentalist religious ideology and spreading jihad. That ideology doesn't become attractive to many people unless you give them some sort of overwhelming traumatic life event that pushes them down that road. And we know that this is the case because we've seen the evidence. We've discussed it before on the show, but after the war on terror, we did this so much. After we began the war on terror, I should say, we did this so much, we killed so many civilians, that you increase the number of terrorists. That's a fact. You know, if you would think, hey, we started the war on terror, you know, in the early 2000s. Is it, is it fixed yet? Have we gotten rid of terrorism? <laughs> All right. No, we've made it worse. We had Al-Qaeda, which was bad enough, but then the mo monstrosity of ISIS, which is worse than Al-Qaeda, came out of the vacuum that we created in Iraq. And a lot of that had to do with the uh, brazen killing of civilians, along with the debathification of the government and getting rid of Saddam, who was the stabilizing force in the region, even though he was a bad guy. So, uh, uh, Ted, way to take the exact wrong conclusion out of this. I mean, it's pathetic and sad and terrible, and this is why you should never be president.